In this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can animate an object using keyframes and add motion blur. We're going to add a fireball to this scene of two people fighting. So we can bring in our fire asset. And once I bring this in, you'll notice that it is blocking out the characters. That's because it has a solid black background. Often with visual effects, you'll have something with a solid black background. And then in Premiere Pro, we can change the blending mode of that. So for example, click on the clip, then up in effects controls, twirl out opacity. You'll see blend mode, it defaults to normal, but we can change it to many different things. For assets with a black background, if you choose screen, it's going to select all the black and have it not show up. It's like if you're projecting something on a wall, all the bright parts of the image will be there and everything else will disappear. Then I can go ahead and rotate the asset. And then I find out where the asset starts. So for example, on this particular one, it starts flaming up here. And I may want to increase that speed. So I can right click on it and I can go to speed duration and I can increase this maybe to 150. This way it actually flares up a lot faster because there's not a lot of space between these characters. So now what I need to do is find out where the fire is. So right now I'll click on it and then I can move it over to where it's going to start. So if I look here now, I can see this character is going to throw the fireball right there. So I want the fire to start here, but not at this time. Now I want to slide the fire here and I can't see it. So now as I slide forward, the fire starts and then we'll go. So I think I still need to speed this fire up. So I'm gonna right click on speed duration and then I'll type in 250 to really get it going much faster starting. So here we go. We now have the fire starting almost instantly. So it's gonna start right, I think here. So now I gotta double click this part and I'll bring the start of that flame here. So now I think I'm ready to set my keyframes. So I'll go ahead into the beginning of the clip, hold shift to snap to the edge, then up here, I'm going to click a keyframe for position. After I click the stopwatch for position, notice that there's a keyframe right here. So now I can slide forward and I can decide when the fireball is going to hit. So shoot right here. So now I can double click on the fireball and move it all the way across, right? So I want it to go off the screen very quickly. So now if I look and I play this clip, the fireball goes right by. So if I wanted the fireball to actually to be blocked, I could add another keyframe right here by clicking. Then up in the effects control, I can scroll until this is blue, and then I can adjust this keyframe by moving the position up and back a little bit. So now the fireball will bounce off. Now, of course, we would want to rotate that or have some other visual effect, but now it's a glancing blow. And then when the fireball shoots again, right here, we can just duplicate this by holding Alt or Option, duplicate the clip, move this over, and then we get two fireballs. So now I have two fireballs shooting through the clip. And right now these are linear keyframes. I think I'm actually gonna go back and change these keyframes because it bouncing off is a little strange. I can just move back to right here on this keyframe. And then I'll just move the fire over to the right. We can move back to make sure we have it selected. And then we'll move it down. And what you can do is select these handles and you can change the arc. So if you want it to shoot more like an arc, that works really well too. And then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this clip and overwrite. So now we have just two straight fireballs. The problem with this is that they're all linear keyframes and there's no ease. So what I can do is select the clip, then highlight the keyframes up in the effects control panel, right click, then under temporal interpolation, I can click Auto Bezier. 
And then this will have the keyframes ease in and out, which can be a lot better. So if you watch the difference between those two, And then on this one, we can select those keyframes, right click, temporal interpolation, and then we can have it Bezier, and this will automatically ease. This is the most basic way to add keyframes for position when you're working in Premiere. A different way to do this is to actually add the transform effect. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this fire clip and then on this fire clip i'm going to click the stopwatch on position this will delete my keyframes press ok so now there are no keyframes on the fire it just stays there and i can reset its position so now the fire is right in the middle next go to the effects control panel and then type in transform i can bring in the transform effect right here and drop it on the clip so now I have the transform control. It has the same position keyframe, but the addition of the transform control allows us to have some motion blur. So at the beginning of this clip, I'm going to click a keyframe for position under the transform. And then I'm going to scroll forward just a little bit so I can see where this is. Now, I don't want to move it here. I want to use these controls to move it. So this is the position keyframes right here. So I'll move these up. And so that's where I want it to start, but this keyframe isn't on frame one. So I can press Control or Command C, and then I can go back and make sure that I'm right on that keyframe. And then I can press Control or Command V, and it'll paste it there. Then I can click this one and delete. So now I have that fire is right there. And I want to then see where is it going to shoot to. So we're going to shoot. And then I can move this keyframe over and it'll go straight through. So now we have the same motion as we had before, but now we can change the shutter angle so we get some motion blur. It's important that you uncheck use composition shutter angle, otherwise this will have no effect. So once I uncheck that, now I can go on this clip, make sure I have the first one selected, and I can make a shutter angle of say 180. And so now when this goes through, I'm going to have a lot more motion blur as it goes to the side. And you can increase this. So if you want even more motion blur, you can just crank this up to say like 360. And now it's going to have even more motion blur as it goes by. So that can be a really great way to add motion blur to an effect that you're using the transform effect on in Adobe Premiere Pro. We can do the same thing on the other clip. So we'll click this one. Then we scroll down. And we make sure that we uncheck use compositions shutter angle so that the transform effect will have motion blur. And now we can watch that. So you can change the timing of these. I, for example, I think the second one fires a little bit faster. So I like that one better. So then I can click on this one and I can just move this keyframe in a little bit so it shoots faster. So I think that's a little bit better. That second one shoots fast, so does the first one now. Excellent, now I have all kinds of fireball action. And currently I have this on screen blending mode. That can work well, but you can also try to see if you like linear dodge add. And this can be just a little bit more glowy. So this is adding in those pixels. So very similar to screen, but it's a lot brighter. And you can see how it's adding to the colors around the figure's arms there. So let's go back to screen. This is what screen looks like. And it still adds some color, but not as much. So linear dodge add is a great way to have a fire effect. So this just completes our effect by going to linear dodge add. And so now we have some great fireball effects for our characters. Hopefully you can add fireballs and other visual effects using the transform command in Adobe Premiere Pro so you can add motion blur to your effects. Happy video editing.